trust the process. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm in the bathroom because I'm getting ready. I'm trying to make it a habit to film while I get ready. Cause usually I just get ready without filming myself and then I sit down to film videos. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just filming videos all day. And I just want to actually film myself putting on makeup cause I'm fresh out of the shower. And I'm trying to get this peach fuzz. <laughs> off my upper lip this is okay hold on let me show you once i'm done but oh my gosh y'all i actually pulled out my dslr camera and my mic and my laptop y'all we have the whole setup today i haven't touched this stuff in months because i've been filming on my vlogging camera because it's just so much easier like it took me it took me about, I need to change this out. I wonder if I can get like refill, like little refill or something like that. Cause this is, I feel like it needs to be changed. But setting up this equipment alone took me at least, I'd say at least 15 minutes, at least. Simply because sometimes my camera don't connect to my laptop because I use it as my monitor like I said um, and I just have to keep doing it over and over and over again until it actually connects which is so weird maybe it's the software I don't know but that's just so annoying right there and when I turned the mic on the battery was dead so I had to change the battery in the mic because I haven't used it in so long and I think the battery was dying the last time I used it and I just didn't change it out so I had to get a new battery, go run and find a new battery at that. <laughs> and yeah, and then I just had to make sure that all the stuff wasn't in the frame, even though, it, I mean, it's fine if it is, but I still sometimes want, you know, the frame to be clean. Um, right now I'm just doing my brows because I haven't done this in probably like, three, four weeks. And I just try to clean it up. This is a little blade that I got from CVS. I get like a whole pack of these. But yeah, that's honestly why I haven't really been fooling with all of this like professional equipment because it's just a hassle sometimes. I mean, I know I can have it already set up in my room, um, my beauty room, which is still like under construction. <laughs> but I don't always wanna film in there, you know? Like I wanna film anywhere in the house and I don't have to always, I don't wanna always have to take all this stuff in the areas that I wanna film. So that's why it's been so easy for me to just grab my vlogging camera and turn it on and start talking. <laughs> but I wanted this video to be kind of, you know, I wanted to look good. Cause I did a um, get ready with me Vogue style video months ago. And I kind of wanted to do the same thing today where I'm in the bathroom in my robe with my hair tied up in the hair towel and just like a clean get ready with me Vogue style. I don't know if you guys seen those all over YouTube, but Vogue has a channel and they usually bring on, um, hold on. They usually bring on celebrities and they just get ready in the bathroom. And I like that. Like I used to watch those all the time and I did that. And today we're doing it again, I guess. <laughs> um, I did pull out a couple of new drugstore products. I already showed y'all the drugstore products in my drugstore. It was a Walmart haul that I did. I guess that's good enough for the brows. 
and I'm gonna use a couple of those today. I don't wanna do a full phase of new products because I am filming today and I don't want you know, the whole thing to go left if it does go left. So I'm just using a couple of new products just to see if I like them. Okay, I am done getting all the peach fuzz and the brows arched. I don't shave my entire face. I just do right in here and then my brows and that's it. I didn't wash my face in the shower so I'm actually about to wash it right now because I like to wash it after I do this. Mm, that's good enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is what I was using. This flawless, um, ooh, ooh, how to, hold on, right here. The flawless, hold on, I can just put it right here. Can I? Okay, I gotta get, okay, there we go. It's like a little um, device. You just press this and it comes on. Okay, y'all get the picture. Why is it not focusing? Come on. Another reason why <laughs> I don't be fooling with this equipment like I used to because I'm like, come on, focus. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm going to take this cleanser. This is the Skin Fix Acne 2% 2, 2 BHA cleanser. This is my third tube, you guys, third one. So I'm gonna wash my face with this. And I still get questions, well not here on YouTube, but usually like on Instagram, I get questions on what sponge I use to wash my face with, and that is this Dose of Colors sponge. So we are about to wash the face, and then we'll get into the makeup, because I know a lot of you are waiting on me to put my makeup on. So, wet the face, some of this, and I wet the sponge too. I'm gonna use my Good Molecules Discoloration Serum, my second bottle, before I put on any moisturizers. I'm just gonna drip, drip, drip it on the skin. Then, Belief Aqua Bomb Sunscreen. I need to either get another one of these or try something else out, because I am almost out of this stuff. And I like it, that's why I would actually repurchase it, because I like it. I'm gonna quickly do my brows again the Anastasia Brow Wiz I just love this brow pencil that's why I keep using it I keep using and abusing y'all I feel like my brows look so good after I arch them because it just looked like once I put the um, the pencil in it it just looks better they just look I don't know, they just look good. So, Cause they're just fresh. Even after putting the pencil in it, like y'all know I always put the concealer to clean it up, like clean up under the brow. I, it looks like I don't even need to do that like right after I arch my brows because it was, it just looks so sharp and fresh. But I'm still gonna go in with the concealer. <laughs> I am still gonna use that concealer, girl. The concealer I use is NARS Soft Matte. But I'm gonna have everything I'm using in the description like I always do, but 
I just try to at least mention the stuff while I'm using it. So just in case, I don't know, just in case I forget to put it in the description, but I feel like I'm pretty good with putting everything that I um, use in a video down in the description. So, okay, speaking of, here it is, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is the shade of Mond, and I didn't bring my brushes. I'll be back. All right, let's apply that concealer. Primer, NARS Soft Matte. Haven't really been switching up my primer lately. I've just been sticking to this one because it works. It works for me and I just keep using it. Okay, and notice I just keep it in this area of my face because that's where I really need it honestly so just keep it right there um okay what foundation we're gonna use the Danessa Myers yummy skin foundation today yeah because that's all I brought in here and this is one I've been using a lot a lot a lot a lot oh we are gonna try out this today this is the wet n wild makeup sponge one of the new products that i showed y'all in my um walmart haul so i need to go ahead and wet it right now let's go ahead and wet it mm -hmm. so here it is i feel like it's gonna be a little let me put this down there i feel like it's gonna be a little I don't know. Let's see. Let me wet it and see. Okay. Never mind. Ooh. This is really, really soft. I like it already. Because it's like, it's super soft and bouncy. I like this. All right. So, yeah, this is what I'm using. Let me put a little bit of this on my face. I like that with the Danessa Myricks foundation, you don't need a lot. Just like, a couple of squirts and you're good. I usually just put like a little line like that. Boom, boom. That's all I need. And I just go ahead and blend it out. Oh yeah, I like this sponge. Oh my gosh. And I know this has been out for a while. Like this is not new. It's just new to me, but I like it. I like it. Yes. Okay, wet and wild. I might need to get a bunch more. <laughs> a bunch more, girl. I think this was two dollars or something. I think it was two something. Two, three dollars. Super duper 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 affordable. Mm, 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 mm. see how this foundation just spreads girl you don't need a lot at all at all and it just it's just so bomb <laughs> look at the skin i am obsessed with this foundation obsessed it's definitely in my top five for sure, for sure. Okay. So I did order another, well not order, but I picked up another, um, another e.l.f. camo concealer, but I don't have it in here because I'm actually about to run out of this one. This is my favorite concealer of all concealers, y'all. If y'all ever see me use a concealer and I don't mention what it is, nine times out of 10 is gonna be this concealer right here. The shade I use is Deep Chestnut. But yeah, I grabbed another one cause I am scraping the size of this one. And honestly, I've lost count of how many I've, of these I've gone through. And I'm just being completely honest. Like that's just how much I use it, how much I love it, 
how much I keep repurchasing it. I love, love, love this concealer. It works for me. And it's just everything. It is everything. It's everything, it's everything, it's everything. Choop, choop. I have to keep looking over at the screen to make sure the camera is still recording. All right, so, ooh, we are gonna use a new setting powder today. I'm kind of nervous though. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully it's good, but it's the Revlon setting powder, another one of the products that I showed in my, um, my Walmart haul. This one is a translucent one. It's uh, the Color Stay 16 Hour Revlon setting powder. It's the press setting powder. So we are using that today and kind of excited, kind of nervous, but we will see how it turns out. But now I need to press this concealer in. Good thing I'm not going anywhere today because even if the makeup turned out the way I don't want it to be, you know, like if it turns out not looking its best, I'm still going to film my videos. <laughs> I'm still going to film because I have to film today, but um, I just wouldn't want to go anywhere with, you know, with it not looking the way I want it to look. Cause I feel like I can finesse my makeup. Like if it doesn't look its best, I can kind of finesse it just to be on camera, but not when I'm going somewhere, going somewhere because you can't do that girl. Either I take it off or I just don't go nowhere, but I'm not going anywhere today. So it really don't matter. It really don't matter. Okay, let's open this and see. And I'm gonna apply it with the sponge that I was just using. Hopefully I like it. I haven't been using press, like I used to use press powders. I'm throwing this stuff on like the trash on the floor <laughs> cause I don't feel like walking up there to the trash can. But anyway, I haven't been using press powders as much as I used to. I used to use them all the time. The one from Rimmel London. Do y'all remember the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Setting Powder was the best, which it still is. It's still one of the best drugstore setting, um, press setting powders. And then the one from Urban Decay, that one was, and still is, bomb, bomb, bomb. But lately I've been using the um, Laura Mercier setting powder and my, uh, the one from Sephora, the one that y'all know I love. So those are the only two I've been using the most lately, but we might go back to the press setting powder. So let's see how this works. Hopefully it does. Ooh. Oh, there's like a little pad up under it. You just lift it up and there's like a little um, black pad right here that you can use, which I never really use those. I just use what I already have. I'm gonna take it like this and pick up some of the product like that. And let's hope for the best <laughs> and see how this looks and also see how it works. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh. Hold on, girl, hold on. I put a little bit more on, but. Can y'all see this? I should have, oh, that's what I should have did. I should have put my other lens on. Dang. My other lens is like 10 times better than this lens, but let me try to get a little close. Do y'all see how smooth that looks? Mm, okay, Revlon. We might have found something. We might have found something. Okay, this is nice. This is so nice. I was afraid that it was gonna look too white. It's gonna, like, I was afraid it was gonna make me look washed out. 
but it's actually like a true translucent powder because you know how some drugstore setting powders they they're marketed as translucent but sometimes they look like super duper 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 ashy on the skin but this one is almost like it melts into the skin i don't know if it's just because i'm using my sponge and by the way my sponge is always 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 damp when i use it because i just prefer my sponges to be damp but this setting powder i can actually put this all over the face now that i think about it but i have another one that i want to open up and share but this one this might be a new go-to product you guys i'm getting my smile lines wow i'm gonna have to try it with um oh my gosh this looks so good i'm gonna have to try it out with a brush too because i used to use like a little small um brush with my press setting powders so i'll try that out with the brush oh let me get my lids let me get the lids girl but yeah i'll have to try it out with the brush as well just to see if i like it that way too but i like this i love this loves this <laughs> mm. i really like this y'all oh my gosh wow okay now we are about to see if this is any good this is also another okay so i'm pretty much using all of the stuff i showed y'all in my um, walmart haul this is the covergirl outlast extreme wear um pressed powder in the shade soft sable so i'm using this to set my oh my gosh y'all i cannot get over that translucent powder it looks so good anyway i'm using this to set my um the liquid foundation the dinner the, 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 the Danessa Myricks foundation that I already applied. Hopefully this color is good though, because I'm kind of nervous. It actually looks like it'll be good. Oh, and I am gonna be using this CoverGirl brush that I also showed in my, um, my Walmart haul. Y'all, I did not think this thing was gonna feel like it does. This is so soft. I thought it was going to feel kind of prickly because you know how some drugstore brushes are kind of, you know, stiff and prickly. This feels crazy, crazy soft. I wish y'all could feel it through the screen, but I'm going to use this for um, the powder. And let's just hope for the best with this too. Oh, it picks up a lot, so I have to be careful. There's a lot right there that it picked up. And let's just pretty much press it into the skin to set that foundation. Okay, so the color is good. It doesn't really change up the color of my foundation that I already have on, which is great, because that's what I always look for, or that's what I always, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I hate when a powder changes up the entire complexion you know like i want the powder to at least match the foundation that i use and this does which is great yes 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 so far we're doing good y'all so far the new products that i'm trying out they are not steering oh my gosh look at the complexion look at this complexion y'all I'm here for it already here for it I don't have a new bronzer that oh, actually I do I do but that's also another product that I'm showing in the video that I'm filming after this like once I'm I'm done with all of this and once I go and sit down to film videos I have a few more new bronzers that I can't wait to share with you guys but um, for now, I'm just going to use my NARS cream bronzer, which I have been loving, y'all. I did a kind of like a chill get ready with me, um, and I featured this one in that video. This is in the shade Laguna Number no. 5. So if you missed that video, NARS came out with more cream bronzers, um, more Laguna bronzers, but more shades in the Laguna 
family, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is the darkest one and it is beautiful. Y'all hear me? It is beautiful. So I'm taking my Huda brush. I always use this with my okay i had to make sure that the thing was still recording but i always use this with my cream bronzers i just tap it in boom 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 like that and i just make this weird face and just kind of tap it into the hollows of my cheeks and also kind of bring it up further on the cheek like that i love 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 this bronzer. This is my getting ready um, hair towel. So I don't even care if it gets messy from makeup because I always put this on when I'm getting ready. <laughs> Just to have that, you know, cute little spa-like look. Even though my hair is already dry. Like I didn't even wash my hair today. All I need to do is just, um, just throw my wig on but i still wanted to put this on the head you know to, to look a little cute a little spa moment <laughs> but i love this bronzer y'all i feel like i've said that a million and one times but i love it obsessed 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 look how just look how pretty it looks on the skin Obsessed. And I love this brush too. I've been loving this brush a little bit more than the, um, which is surprising because I love this brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk brush I always used with my bronzers, this side right here. Um, and then this side I still use for my nose, but this little Huda Beauty brush. It has been doing what it needs to do and I'm here for it. Okay, now, now I can use this one, this double-sided brush and take it on my nose. You can pick this up from Target if y'all are wanting to try it out. I think, okay, I know it looks crazy. I know it looks like I put on too much, but I'm gonna blend it out. I promise you I'm gonna blend it out. So just, Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Y'all, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Maybelline has these weird looking blocks. It's called the Shadow Blocks. And what color did I get? Wait. It doesn't, it don't say the color? It don't say the color on here. I mean, there was a sticker that was like right here in the front. I think it had the color on that part, but I don't have the sticker on here anymore. But anyway, y'all can see, y'all can see the color right here, but I wish I could tell y'all the name of it. If I can find it online, I will have it in the description. But y'all know those Kaja, little Kaja eyeshadow? They're from Kaja. And they look kind of like this. I think there's a, um, there's a round, but this is, this is not, cute like you could put this in your traveling case like let me mm -mm, we're gonna put it right here so y'all can really really see it come on focus let me let me let me let y'all see look at this so that that's the darker shade in here oh my gosh hold on y'all just just bear with me okay let me let me get it to where there we go okay so that's the darkest shade and then this really pretty bronze look at that it's like a bronzy shimmer. And then the lightest shade is at the top. Let me try to open it. Here's the lightest shade right there, which is still really pretty. How cute. Is that not cute? And it's small, very compact. You can just throw it in your purse. Okay, get me back focus. There we go. Um, so let's try this today. I'm not gonna use all the colors because I mean I'm yeah let's just use this one color on the, on the bottom of it because I want my eyes to be as simple as possible since I'm trying to film I'm trying to film so I'm trying to bulk film today that's what I'm trying to do and 
yeah so i still want to try this out let's swatch it though i want to swatch the colors for you guys i haven't really played an eyeshadow and oh yes 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 up my alley but yeah i haven't played an eyeshadow in a while y'all so let's let's just see what this Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. hold on i'm gonna get y'all close in a minute I'm gonna get it close in a minute. Let me get that light color. All right. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Boom, boom, boom. Can y'all see it? All right, let me just put it right here. Boom. The lighting is not the best. I'm just using the light from the window behind me. I don't have my box lights in here, so I do apologize. But I feel like you guys can kind of get the picture. <laughs> it's pretty. And the colors are like up my alley is what I actually use, you know? Um, okay, I'm going to just do the, the matte. Well, there's two mattes in it. I'm gonna do the darker matte on the eyes. That shimmery bronze, like metallic color looks so pretty. I think it'll look really good on the lid. But let's go in with this color right here and just take it on. Oh, this is nice. I mean, it's honestly not a color that's like different for me because I, I feel like I always reach for this type of color and eyeshadow palettes anyway. But I like it anyway, I like it. It's from the drugstore, it's super affordable. And yeah, oh, this is nice. Like the way it blends is really nice. But yeah, this is cute. Not too big, really, really cute to just throw in your makeup bag, your purse, and go. So if you're like me and you like using like shades like this all the time and occasionally dipping into a shimmer, like a metallic color, then I think you will really like this thing right here. Um, they have other ones too. They have other colors. They have one that has a really pretty emerald green in it. I thought about getting that. But I was like, how often do I wear green eyeshadow, you know? Mm, this is cute. Yes. I lose it. I lose it. I think I'm going to just keep the inner corner of my eye um, a little light because notice I didn't put it over here. I just kept it on my outer corner and just worked it into the... Um, the crease because I like that look. Look how, y'all, drugstore makeup. Please don't sleep on drugstore makeup, please. It's all about finding the right products in the drugstore because I know a lot of them are misses, but girl, yes, ma'am. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to take a tad bit of the Revlon translucent powder with that same blending brush, which is the Morphe M504, by the way, and just put it on the part where I didn't apply eyeshadow. So right here in the inner corner. Just like that. Just like that. So, um, blush, CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed Blush. So I got, um, I got Temptation and I also got the shade Hot Frenzy. I want to use this color today because I feel like I'm always using shades like this. This kind of reminds me of the Sephora Collection blush that I've been using a lot, which is the shade, uh, Hey Jealousy which is my favorite blush at the moment. 
So I'm gonna not use this color and we're just gonna use this one today since this is a really pretty coral shade. I think this will look so pretty on the face. Look at that. Yes. And I'm gonna take uh, just this side of the brush because this is the side I've been using the other blush with. So I'm just gonna flip it over <laughs> to this side. This is the Tom Ford brush um, and just use this like this okay had to make sure the camera was still recording mm -hmm. i like i do i'm gonna do a little bit more lately i've been pulling the blush up further like kind of pulling it further up like that kind of making a c shape I don't know why, I just kind of like it, you know? Almost done, almost done. And I'm in good timing. I can still knock out hopefully more than two videos today. I'm hoping, cause they're all just sit down videos. So, and those are like the easiest videos to film. So anyway, um, I, dang, I didn't bring an eyeliner. I definitely want to use an eyeliner on my waterline. I'll be back. I'm going to use this one from Fenty Beauty. This is, in the, um, it's a black one. Yeah, because I'm black, it's the Wish You Would eyeliner and just um, lightly line my waterline a little bit. And now I'm going to use my, um, the, 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 the Maybelline block again and dipping into that first shade that I use and just kind of blending it into that eyeliner to smudge it make it look smoky oh yeah this is a winner this is a definite winner i don't have a new mascara so i'm just gonna stick to the one i've been using the um um elf cosmetics big mood i was about to, i don't know why i was thinking fenty but the elf cosmetics big mood mascara this is what i'm popping on my lashes i'm not wearing any false lashes i've just been liking mascara just my my real lashes <laughs> they're not as long as i wish they would be but i really like just rocking my natural lashes can't even remember the last time i put on false lashes yeah i can't even remember girl that's just how long it's been almost done you guys i'm gonna fix this brow For the lips, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. lip pencil. This is the one in collaboration with Tiana Major in the shade Real. And I kinda wanna like a little cute pink lip today. So I'm gonna do this from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Slicks Gloss in the shade Low Key Pink. I wanna know how this is gonna look without a lip pencil. So let's try that. Gotta take this sticker off. Oops. There we go. All right, so I had to grab my other camera because the camera right here decided to act up on me. Anyway, um, the last part I was at, I think I was applying the lip gloss. This is what it looks like on the lips. And I'm just standing right here in front of the window so y'all can really, really see. But I like how everything turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready in the bathroom before I film videos. But that is it, you guys. That is all that I have for today's video. If you enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.